This July, one of our customers came to us with a challenge to design and construct off-site road improvements for an upcoming project starting in approximately eight weeks. These improvements consisted of a multitude of locations, which included county and state right-of-ways, as well as private land. Immediately, our engineering and planning teams began to work on the challenge, tapped on our regional network of civil contractors, state and local government contacts, to prep them of the upcoming project and work to be completed. Our process entails meeting with key stakeholders throughout the entire approval process. So when it comes time to issue permits and approvals, they're already well versed in the topic. Our engineering team had the intersections ground surveyed utilizing LIDAR equipment and fully designed within three weeks of getting that first call. The challenge here was dealing with the sheer size of turbine components. This 110 megawatt power project was very unique in the fact that it was set to receive the largest wind turbine blade ever transported over the road in North America. The specifications around this extremely large blade are so new that our engineering team had to create fully custom solutions, working with the customer's chosen transportation provider in order to ensure no challenges occurred along the route through this rural farming district. The biggest thing on this project was we had uh, roughly 10 days to get this project done from the first time Logisticus Group contacted me about it. And within a few days of getting things started, we had contracts already moving, guys down here already, got all the information that we needed because this all needed to move very quickly and they were very thorough with everything. We had to put together a good plan to get to, uh, to the DOT. First and foremost, we had to get with landowners and get their approval to operate on their land. So that took meeting with them, keeping them informed on what our plans were, our time frame, working out all the details. So Brad sat down with me. We went over um, a diagram of my corner. He talked to me a little bit about what was required as they moved the windmill components and what kind of projects were taking place. And I really appreciate the diagram because it let me know exactly where things were going to happen and how much space was needed out of my farm. He answered all of my questions very thoroughly. He was very friendly, very trustworthy, and, um, and very available. I appreciated having a contact number to ask any further questions. So communication was key. Uh, a lot of moving parts. Everybody had to be on the same page uh, or it wasn't going to work. With our timeline that we had, uh, you know, the slightest mishaps would have cost us dearly. So keeping everybody on the same page, keeping everybody up to date, uh, including our customers, was vital to us completing what we needed to get done. Our main concerns was timing, mobilization, sourcing, materials, manpower, getting the other companies that we needed to work with us as far as the stone quarries, the traffic control companies and all that. We needed to plan through that and we needed all that to go in our way and that went very well. We got everything done in the small time frame that we had and couldn't have done it without both of us. We were able to attain our permits within 48 hours from the time we submitted them. That typically takes, you know, anywhere from two weeks to two months, you know. It's, uh, it's all about how efficient your, your plan of action is and just kind of showing the DOT that, you know, we're, we mean business, we're, we're going to do it safely, we're going to do it the right way, and instilling a confidence in them that, you know, we have an attainable goal and, and we're going to reach it. We hauled about a total of 9,000 ton to six different sites, and the one site took alone 4,000 ton itself, um, which was a, a pretty big area. You know, we had about three foot of fill in there. That took us about three days to do that at site number four. We started on a Monday morning, and by Wednesday night, we was completely done. I actually can't remember equipment being up there very long at all, and um, I just really appreciate that they were taking care of everyone in my community by making everything safe for all of us and um, just doing it very professionally, very quickly. You never know what kind of obstacles you're gonna have to overcome when you get out there until you, until you get down to it and, uh, and break ground and, and you know, see, see what you're up against. Uh, and with Logisticus, we, you know, we, we find a way to get it done. And, uh, as simple as that.